the salad with some cucumbers, some tomatoes, and I put about a third cup of kidney beans. So they're probably all at the bottom. Um, but I basically mixed everything together. I used apple cider vinegar and a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt as the dressing. And I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm gonna sprinkle on to give it a bit of a cheesy flavor. So nutritional yeast is something that I've never tried and I'm gonna be giving it a try today. Uh, this is the one I picked up. And if we look at the nutritional ingredients, so it has about 20 calories for one tablespoon, which is nothing. But if you look at the uh, nutritional content, it has 40% B12, 180% uh, thymine, 70% uh, niacin, 40% folic acid. It has a lot of nutrition in here. And this is actually all in one tablespoon, which is pretty amazing. So what I'm going to do is, the thing I like about this particular brand is that you can open it and sprinkle it on in a big amount or you can open this side to add a little bit more so i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in the salad so about that much and then i'm also going to add my favorite hemp hearts which is going to add some extra protein in there as well so i'll just sprinkle this on just about one to two tea, uh, sorry, one to two tablespoons, and that's what it looks like. And I'm going to enjoy this salad. a bit of oil on the pan and then I'll place the spaghetti squash on the pan. is in the oven what I'm going to do is I'm gonna boil some extra gluten-free vegan rice pasta and um, I'm also going to make the sauce for the spaghetti so these again this is the pasta I like to use 100% rice pasta no gluten and it's vegan and uh, the ingredients brown rice carrot powder tomato powder spinach powder and water so I'm gonna boil this and then get the sauce going so for the sauce, I've cut about half of a red onion and a few garlic cloves and I'm going to let that fry for a little bit in the frying pan. And then over here I've sliced, um, I've cubed some eggplant and I'm going to put some cauliflower. And for the sauce, I'm using the roasted portobello mushroom sauce by Classico. So once I fry the vegetables a little bit, I'm gonna pour the sauce in and add a little bit of coconut milk and then just let it simmer for a little bit. garlic bread I'm just gonna put two pieces of gluten-free vegan bread on a pan and all I've done is I cut a little bit of fresh garlic and some oil and I'm going to take a little bit of oil and garlic and just spread it on the bread like that <laughs> I 
spaghetti squash is ready and I've baked it on 375 for about 40 minutes and this is what it looks like when you flip it over and next what we're gonna do is you're just gonna take a fork and you're gonna fork it to make it into like a spaghetti texture <laughs> some daya cheese which is a vegan cheese soy free dairy free gluten free I'm gonna put it on top of the spaghetti squash and we're gonna pop it in the oven <laughs> looks pretty amazing to me so we have our gluten-free vegan garlic bread and the spaghetti squash with melted cheese and I topped it with a few onions and we'll give it a try and see what it tastes like <laughs> parmesan flavor you can use the nutritional yeast to sprinkle it on top and it tastes exactly like parmesan cheese except it's not parmesan cheese <laughs> 